Hey guys, Zebra here in today's video. Of course, some news has happened this week. So, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe because it always helps helps a lot the channel, so it can continue to grow and make new content. And let's get into the news. First, we have the flying for Halo MCC Season Six that Fortune just revealed to happen on February 18th. This flight is happening sooner than I expected it to. To be, I expected it to be at the end of February or at the start of March. But the first one's already happening on February 18th. That is very cool. And we are, and if you're not in the Halo Insider program, go check it out. I'll put it in the description. Because if you're part of it, you'll be able to take part on the flights and test test the all of the cool features that Fortier will be introducing. The flights normally we have multiple flights, so this one will be just the first. So if you're not able to participate of it, you can just go to the next one. But one thing that's very important for you is to be part of the Halo Insider program. And if you want to make part of it, it's very easy, it's free. All you need to do is go to the Halo Waypoint site and then fill the form and then we'll be part of it. And we'll be able to test all the cool features. And talking about cool features, the main one is the custom game browser. The custom game browser is surely the, also the most wanted feature. Because through it you can just search some custom games and have fun. Because custom games all, always were, was a very important part of the Halo games. But we also always had the problem is that we, we needed to share the, the codes. And like we weren't able just to enter a public one where everybody could see, could see and then search custom game matches. But now in Halo MCC, we'll be able to do this, giving us a lot of possibility for cool custom games that we can play with people online. And also, to for three in more sad news, confirmed that they won't be adding any new content to Halo Wars 2. This is very sad because Halo Wars has still a very big fan base, because it is the second of a uh, of the two uh, main series RTS, RTS games of Halo. And basically, for three saying that they won't give any new stuff for it, but a lot of people were theorizing already of a Halo Wars three, and for three also confirmed that they aren't playing right now, they specified right now, on Halo Wars three because they're focusing all of their resources mm, working on the new seasons for Halo MCC and Halo Infinite. So mm, they don't want to to try to develop Halo Wars three and end up with the Halo Infinite not so polished and Halo Infinite is the top priority because if it fails the whole Halo series fail, like will be, probably uh, have a lot of problems so it's very important for Fortress to, to work a lot in Halo Infinite and I think that is it's a like it's a sacrifice that we would need to make if we want to make sure that Halo Infinite will be the best it can be but this they are uh, again they specified that's right now so maybe on the future after Halo launches they can try start working on, on a Halo Wars 3 and also they they confirmed that the they will be adding a Halo Online map to Halo 3 they also g gave the image that I'll be passing right now it seems to be very very interesting this map and I'm very excited to test it out on Halo 3 I'll probably also be making a whole video about it and then, also for three, just confirmed that they'll be doing a store in Halo MCC. <laughs> I'm, I'm so surprised right now because basically you'll be able to use your season points to buy uh, older seasonal content, ex exclusive content. Because before we had the seasonal content that we weren't able to get on the other seasons, but you'll be able to buy them on the store. And for those who I know that's most of people, uh, don't worry. Uh, for you won't add microtransactions because it's one of the mo best things of Halo MCC is that it has n no microtransactions because Halo 5 had and a lot of people didn't like it so it's very good to see that for you isn't trying to add on Halo MCC microtransactions and then they also again confirmed this I, this I already covered before the FOV slider for the Xbox One consoles now it can do more key bindings double key bindings on on your on Halo MCC, and then you can also use mouse, mouse and keyboard on console. But one thing that uh, I think that we need to reflect a lot is the fact that two for three basically turned Halo MCC that was 
probably the most broken game on the decade into an incredible collection of games because before a lot of people forgot forgot about it or tried to forget about it that Helium DC launched on a very very bad state it was a broken mass and almost no one uh, believed that it would be able to recover but the hard-working developers of Super 2 were able to fix the game and then add seasons add it to PC and right now Helium CC is one of the most popular uh, titles on Steam not most popular but the one of the most bought games on Steam on of 2020 so this is very very good for the series and a lot of people are getting introduced into the Halo series now so it is very very good for for the Halo whole Halo franchise to to finally have a good collection of older Halo Halo titles so new Halo fans can understand the story well and also finally enjoy all those games on not only on Xbox but on PC as well so I think that that's it for this video. Give a like and subscribe. And also, don't don't forget to write in the comment sections what uh, your opinions about these new features that Fortree is adding and what you want to see on Season 6 other than the things that Fortree just confir confirmed. And see you in the next video. Peace.